everybody. Welcome to X-Rated Radio Show. I'm your host, Truck Driving Diva. And the X and X-Rated stands for extra, and the R stands for real, raw, and sometimes a little ratchet, y'all. Excuse my bangs, it's doing its own thing, okay? <laughs> it's having a party over here. So anyway, I wanted to talk about, as a woman... Would you prefer a high value man or a man that makes a um, regular income, but he cares about you? And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, there's a lot of things on social media and they're talking about, you know, you got to get a high value man or they're saying you too old to get a high value man or all this old stuff on YouTube, on social media, right? And in my opinion, I prefer someone who makes, who has a regular job and who tries his best and who genuinely cares about me, yes. So I wanna talk about, I met a guy yesterday, right? And I'm in, I'm not really feeling it. Like I was in my own zone and when guys try to flirt with me or hit on me, it just goes over my head. So yesterday I'm sitting at the warehouse and a handsome man comes over to me and asks me a question, right? Very handsome. Nice body. I can see him up under the clothes. <laughs> no man boobs and no pot belly, y'all. So, um... We was talking for a second. So he was saying something about, you know, get, how long does it take? So I told him, you know, you might want to go to the truck stop, get you something to eat. So he was on his way to the truck stop and he asked me if I wanted something. Don't know me from a can of paint, y'all. But it just shows how nice. How kind, how thoughtful, I don't even know this man, but how thoughtful he, he, he is, he could be, right? So me, not being fully healed, <laughs> I'm like, no, no, thank you, you know, don't even worry about it, but I appreciate you asking. Now, a couple days ago... I was going to ask this guy that I work with the same thing. I was going to the store and um, I don't know how I found out he was married. Well, no, no. What was I? Um, no, I was going to ask him if he wanted me to bring him something back from the store. Now, I didn't know him either from a can of paint, but I was just trying to be nice, right? So, I'm, I'm like, maybe I should add, but I'm like, yeah, you know, because it's like your mind been screwed up. You don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do that. That might be a little too aggressive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, come and find out he was married in conversation because I was asking him about the hot spots in Texas where I can go and kick it and party in the nice grown and sexy places and he gave me a few recommendations and then he said he and his wife so I was like scratch that okay <laughs> scratch that don't need that karma okay so anyway sometimes in this world that we live in to each his own you know as an individual you do what you want Pick who you choose, you know, be with who you be with for whatever reasons you want to be with them. You know, my opinion, I would prefer someone who genuinely cares about me, who has a nine to five. He don't have to buy me, um, have the money to buy all these uh, Balenciaga, what's that, the, what the bags call, y'all, I don't even know what the bags call, but the bags, okay, the $5,000 bags, okay, I don't need all that, you know what I mean, um, he don't have to, you know, make, 
you know, whatever high value men make, a certain amount of income every, he don't have to do that. As long as he got a job, he got to have a job because I ain't taking care of him. And you got some men floating around here thinking they sex symbols of Denzel Washington or, you know, throwing an eggplant around thinking a woman going to take care of them but because they feel like, you know, women are so desperate for a man because it's a shortage of the man, of man, of a, not me. I ain't taking care of you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to be having you laying up in my apartment, not paying no bills, playing Game Boy, PlayStation and all that all day. You know, got your feet kicked up, you know, no ambitions, no dream, no... And I get up and work hard every day. Negative. Anyway, <laughs> negative. No bueno. Okay? I ain't with all that. So, you know. And then I look at. You ever see a homeless couple on the street? And you be like, you know what? You know, they. Now, this is how I think. I'm like, you know what? They got. Um, a place to stay they struggling and surviving every day but guess what they got each other if one hustle up enough money to go buy a 99 cent cheeseburger they're gonna split that 99 cent cheeseburger with the other person they're gonna walk holding hands hand to hand in love even though they don't have all the materialistic things in the world that people want and need they are happy in that condition in that situation and they got each other y'all they got each other or you'll be like you know you'll see two people you know and they're not worried about you know what other people think or you know all that stuff they got each other y'all so all of this you know, if you into high value men, fine. You know, that's on you. If that's what you into or or basing your relationship or the type of men that you pick on the amount of money they make or, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because all that glitter ain't gold, baby. You know how the saying goes. So, I just want to do this quick video give people something to think about do you prefer high value men or do you or would you which one would you pick would you pick a high value man man that probably got billions of women chasing him and you know ain't got time to spend with you probably really don't care nothing about you honey you know and or would you prefer a man that works a regular nine to five or whatever type of schedule he got but he doesn't make as much money or not the quote unquote high value man um but he really cares about you he he asks you if you want something from the store if it's uh 500 degrees in texas he's going to ask you if you know you want something to drink and if the car break down and you down a thirst he gonna walk three miles just to get you a bottle of water that's love okay so yeah y'all so come to think about it i should have gave him my number <laughs> look y'all like i don't want to be bothered like i'm so like i need to heal but i really should have gave the man my number i should have gave him my number and just see where it went he could have been the man of my dreams. And I just let him slip on back. She keeps on passing me by. Passing me by. Yeah, I let him pass by, y'all. So, if I see him again or meet him again, and we at the same warehouse, that would mean that it is meant to be. Yeah. So, that's that on that. Thank you for watching X-Rated Video. T-T-Y-L, y'all.